Today, you will be learning how you can make a portal gun in Roblox Studio, so let me showcase it to you first. We can place portals by clicking on our little portal gun, so one and two. And it actually shoots uh, projectiles, as you can see. We can teleport from uh, over here to here and from here to here. But let me just do this on the ground and one on the wall, like that. Let me do that again, like that. If I go in this portal, it will go from blue to orange and I will get teleported. So three, two, one. Okay, blue, orange, teleport. As you can see, that is just uh, the portal gun uh, from this tutorial. So let's do it the other way around. We're going to go in here. We're going to get teleported to blue. And we are on the blue portal now. So if you want to know how you can make this in Roblox Studio, then make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to find out exactly how to. So newbie, how do we set this system up? It is pretty simple. First, go to the description and there will be a link with a Roblox model with Portal Gun Newbie. Uh, you want to get that, it's free. You can just get it and then once you got it, go back to Roblox Studio. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you got the model, you're doing great. Now you're in studio, as you can see, I'm moving around. Now you can go to view at the top, view. Then you can go to toolbox. And then you can press on these four blocks, inventory. And when you click on that, you will get all of your models, which you have in your um, account. Uh, but of course, we just need Portal Gun Newbie, so we're going to get that. Four scripts, just click OK. And then you can remove this. Now, now that you got the model, uh, you got the model inserted into a Roblox game, you see Replicated Storage, Server Script Service, Service Storage, Starter GUI, and Starter Pack. Those are a lot of S's. So first of all, uh, we're going to start with replicated storage, open the folder, and then whatever is inside, drag that into replicated storage, like that. And then delete the folder. Server script service, drag it into server script service, delete the folder. Server storage, same story, server storage, delete folder. Start to GUI, start to GUI, delete folder. Start to pack, start to pack, and delete the folder. Now, you have the entire uh, mechanic set up in your game. Now, all we have to do is code it. We're going to go from top to bottom. So, we're first of all going to do server, then humanoid handler, then client, then server, and then client. So, we're going to go from uh, up to down. And then, all you have to do is just write it over. If you have any issues, join the Discord server down below. Me and my team uh, will gladly help you out and assist you with fixing your code. So, now, let's get to coding. Enjoy.
Whoa, that right there was a lot of coding. But now you have done it. We have entered the recap section. This uh, section is for people who want to know what I did and uh, who want to actually learn from it. So first of all, the server script. This is just a module. We're not going to use it. This is just uh, to determine where uh, if the part is going to be uh, vertical, horizontal, what position, whatever. In this script, we are getting services and we're getting the humanoid handler. When the player joins, we're going to check if they uh, don't have a portal gun folder yet. And if they don't, we're going to give them one. We're going to create some values and we're going to enable uh, use jump power because why not? Uh, if we're going to teleport the player, we're going to find the opposite part. And if that part exists, we're going to teleport the player. We're going to unfreeze them and a little bit of debound so the game can catch up. If the part is not there, um, we're going to tell the game something like, hey, the teleport didn't go through. Just unfreeze. Doesn't matter. And then uh, after half a second, uh, this is just another mini exploit detection, I guess. If you didn't move uh, because someone else uh, was annoying or something and removed the portals, then uh, we're going to also unfreeze you and um, uh, let you be able to actually do something. And when you leave the game, we will remove the portal gun folder. In this script, uh, when we do... Um, uh, in this script, when we do... Freeze, uh, we're actually uh, going to uh, remove your ability to walk and jump. And when we unfreeze, we're going to give that back. In the portal UI client, when we tween the camera, we're going to tween the camera, as you can see over here, to 70, which is normal, to 120, which is all the way back, and 0, which is all the way in your face. When we tween the UI, we're going to play some tweens, and we're going to teleport you um, when you cannot see it. And then we're going to uh, allow you to see again. Basically that. When, you, when we are going to manipulate the camera, we're going to check what the part is. We're going to set the color. And we're going to tween to the opposite color. Same story for this. And we're just going to take half a second to tween all the way back and all the way to the front. In the portal gun, this was such a gigantic trip. We're going to get some services, some values over here, local count. When this gets fired, we're going to check if there is a player, and if there is, we're going to uh, always let them able to teleport, like that. Uh, if the count is zero, the, which means um, it's going to have to spawn the blue projectile, uh, everything in your folder is going to get destroyed because you're going to uh, get new projectiles. We're going to uh, we're gonna clone the blue one, we're going to set the player value to your name, we're going to make a body force so that we can um, actually shoot it. We're going to uh, give the game 10 seconds to let it do something. And if it doesn't, it's just going to get destroyed. Uh, we're going to parent it to your folder. We're going to uh, unanchor it. And we're going to set the C-frame to the portal gun. And we're going to make it move. When the blue, project, uh, the blue projectile touches something, like a part, then we're going to actually uh, put the portals right over there. And then when the portals get touched, we're going to check if you're able to teleport. We're going to get the opposite part. When the opposite part is there, we're going to freeze the player. We're going to set the anti-exploit value. And we're going to teleport you. And then after 5 seconds, the portal debounce goes away. When you stop touching the part, we're going to check if you're uh, teleporting. And if you're not, then we're going to let you be able to teleport again. And then when the blue projectile hits something, we're going to destroy it. Uh, it's exactly the same story for this, but this is just for orange. Th that's basically it. And then in client, this was some uh, weird calculation. We're going to get some values. We're going to get some empty variables. Mm -hmm. Weird. And we're going to get a mouse from a module, which allows us to do this weird calculation. This calculation basically makes it so if it, if it touches the base plate, which is this, your part is going to be um, horizontal. And then when you touch a wall, when you shoot at a wall... Uh, it will actually go vertical. So let me just do this. Okay, so this is just for testing in a little second. Uh, and let's actually also just do this. So we have a little whatever this may be. Okay, we're just going to keep it like that. Because I was not done explaining. When you click the portal gun, we're going to check if you're teleporting. And if you're not, we're going to set the first position, the blue one. And we're going to set the orange one. Um... Basically that. So this was the recap section. Now we have entered the testing section. This is probably the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> because, uh, yes. Um, so now we're going to test it out. I hope it works. As you can see, we joined the game. Uh, I'm just going to keep this here just in case. Okay. So when we shoot the gun, 
As you can see, this is the gun. When we shoot it, 3, 2, 1, boom. And it doesn't work. <clears throat> so now I fixed that issue. Now we can continue. 3, 2, 1, click. As you can see, the projectile shoots and the portal spawns. Now I want to teleport um, uh, on this wall. So boom. Teleporter is there. So let's go in the part over here. 3, 2, 1, boom. The tween goes to orange and then we spawn at orange and we did not. So, we fixed that too. Uh, all of these edits will be in the coding section, so you can just see. Okay, so, boom, boom. Teleporters are there. As you can see. Three, two, one, boom. Okay, goes from blue to orange, and we teleport at the orange portal. Now, we can go over here and over here. Three, two, one, from orange to blue. Three, two, one, go. And orange, twins to blue, and we are spawning at the blue one. So, uh, if you just want to get down, you could just do boom, boom. Okay, I want to get down. Let's go. Boom, blue, and we're at the ground. Uh, you can actually just do that. So, when we click, see, projectile gets the portal. And then over here, boom. whoop a -dee, And shazam, we're on top of this little building. So, when we do this, and then we do that, we're going to spawn at the other side of this portal. Boom. And there we go. We are now on the ground. This actually works with uh, other players passing through, so we're going to check that out right now. So now, as you can see, I am in a two-player world, as you can see, and I am just going to shoot and shoot. Okay, so this player is just some someone else, So because these are my portals, as you can see. These are mine, so if I do this, as you can see, these are mine. So, so I am just going to put these on the side of the map, so we don't have any disturbance of them. Now, this player is going to go through this player's portal. So, let's do it again. So, this is my portal, and this is another portal. And I'm going to go through. 3, 2, 1, boom. We teleport, and we're going to end up over here. As you can see, we just teleported. So, now let's do it again. Boom, and you can actually annoy someone by actually just putting it un under them. So, 3, 2, and 1, boom. <laughs> and they actually get teleported. It's kind of funny. As you can see, now they're on top. And now we can uh, annoy the other player. We could just do this and this. And if they walk through, they're probably going to get teleported or not. There we go. And we could do... And if we wait for a little bit, we could do boom, boom. And then this player can just go through and appears over here. So this is how you make a simple portal gun in Roblox Studio. If you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, do whatever you want, dislike the video if you dislike it, like it if you like it, become a member, do anything you want, join the Discord, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.